If you make changes to an Excel pivot table, it can take quite a while to do certain things, especially if there are calculated fields or calculated items in the pivot table. In this one, we've got a quantity sold. We also have a calculated field for tax, which is a total price multiplied by 5%. To hide some of these dates and leave others visible, I've created a macro. So I'm going to run the macro and see how long it takes to show everything and then hide certain items. So on the View tab, I'm going to click Macros and View Macros. And here's my Hide Some Items. When I run it, it starts a timer and at the end it'll show a message of how long it took to run the macro. So when the message comes up, we'll have our base line here. So it took nine seconds to run it. Now, if I put a check mark in this box for defer layout update, that makes it a little bit faster. So if I run the macro again, it should go more quickly this time. So it took nine seconds last time. And with that setting, we're down to five. But if I uncheck that, I can, in my pivot table code, right now I've got a line that I've got commented out. So if I remove the apostrophe, it's going to run this line. And that sets the manual update for the pivot table to true. So it's only going to update when we tell it to. And at the end, it just turns that manual update back to false. Now, if I run the macro, instead of our nine seconds or our shorter time of five seconds, now it's only taking one second with that manual update set to true. So if you're making pivot table changes programmatically, be sure to set manual update to true at the start of the code.